in the second part of 6.4, we have to actually show that the diagonals of a square, E, F, G, H, are congruent perpendicular bisectors. So remember, a square is the most special parallelogram of them all because they have the properties of a parallelogram. Oops. They have the properties of a rectangle. And they have the properties of a rhombus. Whoops. So if we talk about the diagonals, in these three shapes, we know that the diagonals bisect each other in a parallelogram. We know that in rectangles, the diagonals are congruent. And rhombuses, we know that the diagonals are perpendicular. So what they want you to do here is just pr prove that those three things happen. So to do that, the easiest way, I think, is to actually graph it. But if you don't want to graph it, that's OK. We can still do it algebraically. All right, so we're talking about the diagonals. So in these problems, we're going to be talking about FH and EG. So I'm going to put FH here and EG here, so we remember. Okay, to prove that something is congruent, you can do two things. You can do Pythagorean's theorem, which is A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Or you could do the distance formula. If you're not going to graph it, you should probably do the distance formula. Okay, so if you don't graph it, do the distance formula. If you do graph it, do Pythagorean's theorem. Since it's graphed for me already, I'm just going to do Pythagorean's theorem. Okay, so I'm looking at the diagonal here. This and right here. So for FH, uh, you're going to make a right triangle. So the right triangle would be this one all the way to this one. And you're going to count the side lengths. So this side length is 1, and this side length is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Seven. So for Pythagorean's theorem, we would have 1 squared plus 7 squared will equal c squared, which is fh. So 7 squared is 49, 1 squared is 1, so it's going to be radical 50. You have to do the same thing for eg. So if I want to look at this diagonal, oops. okay, you're going to do the side lengths. So we have this one is 1 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we have, again, 1 squared plus 7 squared equals c squared. So we have radical 50 again. So we just proved that they are congruent to each other. The second thing we want to do, I'm going to erase some of that stuff. The second thing we want to do is prove that the diagonals are perpendicular, like in a rhombus. So, to prove that they are perpendicular, you have to look at the slope. The slope, if you're not going to graph it, because slope is just rise over run, if you're not going to graph it, you have to do the formula. And that's y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So if you're not going to graph it, you have to plug it in algebraically. Since it's graphed for me, I'm going to look at fh, and it's going down 7 times and over 1. So the slope is negative 7 over 1. And if I look at EG, it's going up one time, it's a positive one, and it's going running seven times. So are these, to prove that it's perpendicular, they need to be opposite reciprocal slopes, right? So that means you flip it, and one's positive and one's negative. So these are opposite reciprocal slopes, and that means that they're perpendicular lines. The last thing is to prove that they're bisectors. To prove that they're bisectors, you need to do... I'll put it over here. For, to prove that something's a bisector, you need to use the midpoint formula. And midpoint formula is when you add up the x's and divide by 2, and you do the same thing for the y's. Add up the y's and divide by 2. You guys are just finding what point is in between these two points. So if you do it for negative 4 and 3, I'm oh sorry, I said eg. So it's negative 4 plus 3 divided by 2. That's going to be negative 0.5. Then you do it for the y's. So we have a negative 1 plus 0 divided by 2. And that is going to be at negative 0.5. So let's see if the, the midpoint is the same for fh. If it is, then they are bisectors of each other. So you add up the x's, negative 1 plus 0 divided by 2. That's negative 0.5. And you do the same thing for the y's. 3 minus 4, or 3 plus a negative 4 divided by 2, and you get negative 0.5. Boom. 
So those are the six things you have to do to, to show that the diagonals of a square are congruent perpendicular bisectors.